Internationalization is the process of developing software in a way that it can easily be translated into other languages without any changes to the source code. Let's learn what internationalization is in the context of WordPress, why it is important, and learn where to find more information on how to implement it in your WordPress development. WordPress is used all over the world by people who speak many languages. Therefore, any text strings in WordPress need to be coded so that they can be easily translated into other languages. Let's look at an example. When you log into your WordPress dashboard for the first time, the heading Dashboard appears at the top of the page. You can find the code that generates this title currently at line 33 of the wp-admin slash index.php file. Here, the title variable is set to Dashboard. Notice how the text string is wrapped in a double underscore function. This is a WordPress function that is used to make the text string translatable. If you were to access a user's profile and update it to use a different language, the text string would be translated into that language. So, for example, if I change my user profile language to Spanish, the word dashboard would be translated, but the code underneath would remain the same. This is possible because the language file for Spanish has been installed on the site and contains the translation for the text string dashboard. Because the translation function is used, once the language has been set for the user, WordPress will search for the translation for this and other words in the relevant language files and either display or store the translation depending on the context. Internationalization is the process of writing your code so that any text strings that might be displayed to the user are translatable by wrapping them in the correct translation function. Internationalization is often abbreviated to I18N because there are 18 letters between I and N. The process of translating and adapting the internationalized text strings to a specific locale or language is called localization. While localization is outside of the scope of this lesson, you can read more about it in the localization section of the Common API's handbook in the WordPress developer resources. Internationalization is not the same as making sure your content is available in multiple languages on the front end of your website. This is more commonly referred to as making sure your content is multilingual or translated. Because this content is stored in the database, it's better to have a fully translated copy of your site for each language you want to support. This can be achieved by using plugins like TranslatePress, Polylang, or Weglot. The WordPress Developer Resources has a great section on internationalization in the Common API's handbook. It includes an overview of the process, as well as a page which lists all the functions that are commonly used. It also contains a section on internationalization guidelines, which is a must read for any developer who's looking to make their WordPress plugin or theme translatable.